which of the following defends against aspiration? Epiglottis, false cords, true vocal cords, ventricle, or all of the above. So let's visualize the larynx. This is a cross section in the larynx, a mid-sagittal section in the larynx. And you can see here, this is the region of the vestibule above the vestibular fold. And this is the region of the ventricle between the vestibular fold and the vocal fold. And here is the region of the infraglottic compartment. Here is the epiglottis. And the epiglottis continues posteriorly with the aryepiglottic fold. During swallowing, the aryepiglottic fold will move the epiglottis posteriorly and closes the inlet of the larynx. So the food will slide from the pharynx down into the esophagus. The epiglottis, therefore, it guards against aspiration of food into the larynx and into the trachea. False vocal cords, these are folds that do not move and so they cannot close the larynx by any means. The true vocal cords, yes, they move, adduct and abduct. Usually they adduct during phonation. So they close the larynx during phonation, but they do not close the larynx during swallowing. The vocal cords, they close the larynx during phonation or in cases of increase in the intra-abdominal pressure as in heavyweight lifting or straining during defecation or micturation. The ventricle, as I mentioned, is the region that is located. It's a space between the true vocal and false vocal cords, so it cannot close the larynx and all of the above is therefore invalid because three of these options, they cannot close the uh, larynx or defend against aspiration and the correct answer is the epiglottis.